there is no way you can recycle the people who are in leadership. The team that has just been put into office by the guys who are in that office in 2013. We are recycling them. The problem is not the doctors. The problem is about leadership. You know, when the, when the head is rotten, everything else becomes useless. So what is done is nothing. We needed people to take responsibility, including the CEC. And by the way, uh, you know, when you have uh, a, a person who is uh, the, ordinarily, you know, running an hospital needs someone who is qualified in that sector. The person who is the chief officer is, is, a, is a, a former prisoner of order. You can imagine uh, the consequences of, of that person taking lead and taking care of doctors. It is impossible. So what we are saying is that whatever he did is just part of the useless stories that we for the last uh, couple of months now have been seeing. Secondly, the Tegat, uh, we had a stopover yesterday at, in a place called um, Stop in the evening when we were coming from the burial of Diana. And uh, we, we, we had a chit chat with the presidents of that place. The first thing they told us is that uh, we do not have anything in that facility in the name of drugs. It is true that it should be offloading uh, patients from Longisa Hospital because some of these things we know there is a bit of congestion within uh, Longisa Hospital because we serve not only people from Bomet, we serve people from Narok, we serve people from even I think uh, uh, Narok uh, this side and Narok the other side of Bikir and, and, and the, the neighboring uh, counties so there is a bit of congestion that is a fact but then instead of the county government concentrating in uh, establishing and facilitating such obstacles like the GAT as health centers they are stealing the money. Uh, when we spoke about the other day, uh, two billion Kenya shillings being the budget of health within the county assembly, we are unable to see the product of Kenya shillings, 200, uh, two billion that is allocated to the health sector. So it is still a consequence of uh, failed leadership, which of course is unfortunate. But we are asking the people of Bometa that allow us to do our job. When we speak, it is not because we hate Barchok. It's not because we don't like Barchok. It is because we love the people of Bomet and we hate corrupt leaders, we hate incompetent leaders, we hate leaders who lie. Because one of the most unfortunate things is when you see a whole uh, governor, who is a former pastor, I'm told, he's been excommunicated by the church, lying to the people <laughs> in church. Yeah. It is uncalled for. Otherwise, I want to thank you and uh, that is it. Thank you very much. The issue of Longisa, this is an issue that is under investigation and i don't want to condemn anyone it is under investigation nursing council were there the other day uh, looking it, into the issue and uh, they have taken uh, some of our reports that we've been able to have through different committees including the one that was drafted by uh, our, our health committee in the assembly so footages from our cctv so that they can also confirm uh, what we've been saying and if there are any caps that we need to address, then we will address. Postmortem was also done, and some tissue were taken for analysis to check and confirm whether this cell was not actually given medication. So we are still waiting for that report, but preliminary reports indicate that the child died because of excessive poisoning because of uh, the, the, the stings that she received from the piece. So that's what we are doing. Uh, so far, we have made some changes, and of course, changes are normal in any system to probably in inject new blood and uh, address some of the weaknesses that we might have realized also because of this issue, because there was a lot of discussion, and out of that discussion, of course, there are areas that we need to strengthen. There are even additional people that we brought on board to strengthen the administration of the hospital. We have now a deputy kind of administrator so that the hospital is supported because one person can run run the whole facility 24 7 so at times he or she needs to rest so that is some of the things that we've been able to do so that we can make our system efficient otherwise i have confidence in that facility i've been treated like if you go there in the records you see that on 2nd of july i was there my mom was there as late as 28th of last month as we are speaking, my own child, brother to my brother, is admitted in Longisa from the day before yesterday. So probably she will be uh, released tomorrow.
that is a very clear message and indication that we have confidence in this facility irrespective of what people are saying and all of us should have positive publicity for that facility where there are weaknesses please tell us so that we can improve